What's up everyone, welcome back to the channel. So this week we're just getting our car ready, changing some things on the back which we're gonna go through in a second. Gonna give the car a quick alignment. Once all of that is done, we're going to the dyno and uh, yeah, we're gonna see how much power this car really has and uh, see how it goes. So I'm very excited to see it, bring you guys through it. Let's see what happens. Car is on the ramp again and uh, we have some new parts from Wisefab in the rear of the car. New rear lower control arm. Uh, this is the old setup and you can see here that the shock used to attach to this HDK bracket that they made and uh, the bracket used to bolt up to the control arm here. So when the shock is sitting here, this uh, arm is on two pillow balls, the arm can swivel like this when you're jacking or things like that. And on this side, the shock is actually mounted low on the arm itself so it will stop the swiveling of the arm back and forward and it also gives us a lot more adjustability in the shock. We can run the car quite a lot lower than we used to before, which is good. Uh, it's just sitting static there now, raised up in the ramp, and you can see the arch gap, where last year was more like this. And you can see quite a big gap with a, a lot of droop, so managed to take uh, a lot of the droop out, and it also gives us a lot more adjustability to play with these two arms here, which uh, can potentially give us more grip if we want it. And uh, yeah, it just gives us a lot more adjustability. So we're excited to get the car on the ramp later and do an alignment and see how much more we can adjust it compared to what we could before with the old setup. The only change we have to make is uh, attach the sway bar. So it's gonna be sitting on a bracket right about there. Um, Michael is Currently after making a few of these brackets, which we will basically sit on the arm, sit on the arm like that and weld to the arm. So then we have four of them ready to do. So we have spares ready in case of any incidents. But uh, it's again, really exciting to try new things with the car. Um, gives us a lot more room to play with. What else have we got new for it? So we're gonna put a, electric fan on the intercooler and just a lot of small details really i'm very happy with the car and uh it's just as always trying to have it as best as we can also a lot of oil arrived which the dog likes is that nice is that nice yeah he wants to restock the shelves with driven oil so yeah a nice pallet of driven oil arrived uh keep us all topped up for the season. We've been using this oil for a good couple of seasons and uh, very good stuff. So everyone's helping out. It's the last week we have here in Ireland. And uh, this is the foreman in security. And that's the apprentice. And myself and Michael are the old timers. Right, so we have the car sitting on the ground for the first time and the ride height is much nicer than before. She's quite low and uh, there's a lot of adjustability in the back with the new control arms. We're going to get it on the alignment ramp in a minute and uh, go through the alignment, see how it looks, and then one last time checking the corner weights and then we're good to go. She's out of the workshop looking really clean. Is it efficient? Is it efficient? Is it? Yeah? Okay, thanks. Yeah, she's working nice. We'll put it into my brother's workshop here now, DM Sports, and get it on the tracking ramp.
two hours later. <laughs> Ten minutes later, it's simple. <laughs> Definitely the more arms you put in the car, the more adjustment you have. You need more arms to work on it, Right, getting close now. Getting close. On the rear. It's the iPhone wise fab setup app. iPhone wise fab JD setup app, yeah. <laughs> Very accurate. The screen screen can't lie. <laughs> Is that a secret? I got half a degree positive camber and three quarters of a degree each side towing in the rear. <laughs> Quite a lot of towing, but that's that piece of dirt or something. Everything worked out quite nice. I'm really happy with the right height now. It's quite a bit lower on the back and everything adjusted really nice. So took a bit of time because we're just playing with the position of the rear hub and uh, just at the angle of the hub as well. Make sure both sides are the same. Make sure the wheelbase is the same with the measuring tape as well as the machine. And uh, yeah, turned out quite nice. So she's looking good. So I'm actually quite tired, it's Sunday night. We are going to the dyno tomorrow morning. Yeah, so I just have enough energy to pull off the tracking gear. Um, probably leave it in this workshop for tonight and uh, get some food, load it up in the morning, head down to John Allen, let's see what power she makes. So we're getting there, we're getting there. Good morning, time to go for the dyno. Eurofighter behind the 5 Series, sweet BMW setup. Expecting, John. How much power? Um, well, since you forgot the nitrous. Yeah. Not much. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Unfortunately, we couldn't get our nitrous refilled in time in Ireland, so we're just going for raw engine power. We have the jet set up. So, uh, yeah, we will see what she makes. So, if you can hear me, we're down at John Allen's. Um, he's been tuning my car since. So we're going good so far, uh, just after lunch now, and we are ready for some more pulls. Might be able to hear it better in here, it's so loud in there. Sounds good. Sounds so good. What's that? I can't see what that 
is. But it looks good, he's smiling and laughing, so we better have a look. <laughs> he's laughing at himself. I can just see you laughing, so it must be good. Whenever you see John smiling, it's always good. 70 horsepower, really nice. It's uh, quite a bit more responsive than it was last year. Uh, it's making more power with less boost. And all we really change is the manifold. Um, so, really quite interesting. So we'll go for a bit more boost now and just see what it's capable of. So we're back home, car is back on the ramp, we're just giving it a check over after being on the dyno last night and uh, yeah, we're very happy with the results. It made 800 horsepower on high boost with no nitrous and uh, 600 horsepower on low boost which is uh, just around a bar and uh, that's definitely the most efficient setup we've had so far. It's also a lot more responsive than it was last year. Uh, the new manifold definitely helped things even more than I was expecting. So really happy with the results, I'm looking forward to getting on track. So right now we're just going through the car, giving it its last check over, then it's time to load up everything. We'll be getting on the road to Riga this coming Saturday and uh, Drift Masters round one next weekend. So pretty crazy that it's all happening really fast. That's it for this week anyway, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it and uh, we'll see you on the road next week. Take care.